Hello everybody. I have promised you yesterday to um, prepare a video about how to protect your own code on the client's server or your customer server. Okay, so here we are. Let's start with, you know, the reasons why really you want to do this. First of all, you might have the right of this code. Let's say that you have your own code, your idea that it already implemented in um, an auto module that you want to keep it as your own secret and you, you, you really don't want to share it with anybody else. Okay, so you can, you know, have... Uh, this um, this choice or this situation and you want to uh, keep your code it's your own secret so on the other hand or the other reason for this uh, video let's say that you have this customer this kind of customers who do not want to pay um, for for any reason okay he got his own project hosted on his own server and he does not want to pay your own uh, your own money Okay, so you have two reasons. This, they are legal reasons. They are your right to keep. Okay, so in this case, I would suggest to use this uh, way to protect your own code. Actually, we will talk, we will discuss two points here. The first point is how to do this technically and how to make it legal. So let's start with the technical side. The technical side is about how by, by building... Um, your own server and as well as the customer server the customer server will contain everything except for some piece of code that will be hosted on your site okay so how we will con connect these sites together or these servers together let assuming that you have let's say um, a method that do some submission to some one and two to add one uh, to two okay or four to three okay to make it simple uh, to add four to three this should return seven okay why you do not try to use requests this python module requests okay and this method and if it calls some, somewhere it, it's uh, there is a call i mean for this method somewhere so when calling this method actually the implementation of this method will be uh, you know sending a request to your own server to get the result of adding four to three and return seven to the customer okay to customer server okay let's make more more examples assuming that you want you know in the creation of customer you want to control this process for the same reasons okay if, as i already mentioned your own right you this is legal reasons okay you want to control the creation of a contact in the creation, this method def create you define it. Okay, so if okay if request you do the request here, so this will be sent to your own server. Get the result of if the request is true, then proceed with the creation. Else, raise an error. Please contact your own administrator or or uh, contact someone where you know and show this error message. Okay, so. Now you have the control of some methods on some pieces of code, okay? This will be very helpful for you to create, uh, let's say, you know, a situation, a powerful situation, actually. So, this is the technical side. By the way, you can find on my YouTube channel, uh, YouTube channel, I'm sorry, YouTube channel, you can find this REST API tutorial about how to create uh, this controller routing and send the request from uh, the terminal I, I was using my own local machine but of course you can uh, do the same it's applicable for any remote server uh, by the way one of uh, the technical issues that I, I discussed already with someone uh, of my friends some, um, some friends he mentioned that this may slow down the process of creating the contact as I mentioned as an example okay actually this is not true actually because we are assuming here that you have two um, two remote servers hosted remotely online they are online and the, as you know this is handled by uh, service providers they are professional okay like Amazon digital ocean whatever so if the server talks to other one this should be really fast okay and the customer of course will not 
feel anything bad about that so, okay so, so he has this loading process and everything is working in the background he will not notice this at all so this is, will be the technical solution and the technical expected solution okay oh i'm sorry the issues that you might face and a solution on the other hand we need to make it legal okay assuming that you have this service let's say gmail service if you are trying to connect gmail to send emails or this uh, twilio for example to send sms or anything similar or payment gateway would you ask them for the source code of course not you are just using their apis to you know to to use their services and you will pay the cost for them um okay pay based on you know how many requests how many let's say sms's how many emails and so on so in this case actually you you are using the service okay and you do not know really how this is managed in the background right this is the same here you will mention in the contract that you and your company have the right to control some of the source code and this is included in the support fees and this is also uh, included in the cost of the project and these services are hosted on your server and you have the right to manage it and the customer does not have the right to ask for the source code okay if this mentioned explicitly i think you will not have any problem i think this is applicable for almost any anywhere in the world so this will help you to control your own services your own you know contract with your own customer make sure that he will pay your own money because you have employees you need to pay salaries and so on so so please you want to do this really so if the customer wants to ask you for the source code okay you have this item in the contract please do not ask me for the source code we have a clear you know a clear item here in this contract that says you don't have this, this right we are offering you the service you have no right for this okay this is the same again i'm, I'm repeating myself and, and i'm really so sorry for this you are using the facebook apis twitter if apis any other uh, type of apis without asking for the source code this is the same case here so i think that i i already explained everything so please don't hesitate to share your opinion and the here and in, in, in the comments and this will help me and help all of the community to you know to exchange knowledge to help each other to have a better solution if exists of course and I'm, I'm pretty sure that someone should have a better solution let me confirm that encryption again encryption is not the good option here why because if you are a software engineer someone else can do reverse engineering right if you did encryption someone else can do decryption if you do uh, let's say uh, a compiling someone else can do decompiling so the encryption or compiling is not you know um, when i say compiling i mean pyc files okay not py it's pyc files so in this case this might not be the best case or the best solution for your case okay so i hope that you liked my my video so please I, I i need to see your comments this will help me a lot to learn more so thank you